How's it going guys? It is 3.45 a.m. Sunday, November 6th here in Japan and we have a medium difficulty question for MSK Anatomy that is nearly identical to free 120 question for step one, okay? So if you think anything is ambiguous or weird about this question, don't take it up with me, take it up with the free 120, okay? Not gonna be a lengthy clip here, cut to the fucking chase. So before we get started, please subscribe my channel, I really appreciate it, give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, the links to the Telegram group and channel are down below and I'll start the clip. So 34 year old woman fell off the roof of a house. She experienced pain in her neck followed by inability to move or, move or feel her legs. Physical exam shows loss of motor and sensory function below, below the level of the injury. Lateral chest x-ray, chest x-ray, what the fuck am I saying? A lateral neck x-ray is shown. Which of the following functions most likely to be spared in this patient, okay? So most students watching this clip see this x-ray here and say, no idea what I'm fucking looking at, okay? Now you don't have to be a radiology expert. This is what you assembly will do sometimes. There's two ways, essentially, you can answer this question. Either you can be a radiology expert. You say, Mike, that's not hard. That's easy. Okay, great. Well, most students watching this clip have no idea what they're fucking looking at. So you can be a radiology expert. Or even without this x-ray, we can get the answer just by doing some simple inference regarding these answer choices here. So we'll do both. So first, let's look at the x-ray. Now, this most superior vertebra, this is C1, the atlas. And you see this structure off of, on the left, which almost looks like a tail. This is the posterior tubercle. So the axis is C2. Now we can just cut all the bullshit. The point is, this is C1 most superiorly. This is C2. So we're just going to work our way down. C3, C4, C5, C6. Now if you look at C5, C6, where my cursor is, these most inferior two vertebrae here, you can see that C6 appears to be significantly posterior compared to the rest. So we could probably say that this is a C5, C6 dislocation of some sort, okay? Doesn't really matter though, because we're gonna look at the answer choices, we can get the answer anyway. So how do we go about this? Well, if you get a spinal cord injury and they're asking what's most likely to be spared, wouldn't it be whatever's most superior? Okay, I mean, if, I, if I'm paralyzed from the waist down, I mean, any preserved function I have, motor or sensory, wouldn't it be whatever's most superior in terms of the answer choices, right? Okay, so basic inference. So let's just look at the answer choices here. Choice A, elbow extension. Wrong fucking answer because this is going to be radial nerve. Some students get very pedantic, mostly C7. Okay, C6, C7, C8, triceps, radial nerve, but this is predominantly C7, but we have to look at the other answer choices for comparison. Elbow flexion, C5, C6, C7, but C5, C6, okay, musculocutaneous nerve plays a big role in biceps function, also sensation lateral forearm, but biceps function, okay, musculocutaneous nerve, C5, C6, this is the correct answer because it's most superior. If you look at the other answer choices, finger adduction, so the interosseous muscles of the hand, pad, dab, those are actually ulnar nerve, okay, C8, T1. And thumb adduction, well, this is a tricky one. This is ulnar nerve as well, C8, T1, because even though thumb is on the, the lateral side, the radial side, and you say, well, wouldn't that be median nerve as an example? Well, thumb abduction would be median nerve, but thumb adduction is ulnar nerve, okay, C8, T1. Wrist flexion, many nerves, okay, but C7, C8, T1 predominantly. Well, I mean, that's inferior compared to elbow flexion. So not my fucking opinion regarding this question here. You could say some basic functions of MSK, nothing too outrageous. We say, well, elbow flexion, musculocutaneous nerve. We've got C5 involved in elbow flexion here. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.